Hey there, Poke fans. Welcome to Poke Monday. I'm Kevin. I'm Heather. And this is Let's Play Games West Virginia. That's not the right word for that. Oh well. Welcome to the stream. If this is your first time tuning in, we are a group of gamers based out of West Virginia that play a wide variety of games. And there's something going on every day of the week here uh, on Let's Play Games West Virginia. And every Monday you can hang out with us and look at the last week in Pokemon Go for Pokemon Day. Imagine that. Pokemon Day is about Pokemon. Shocker. Shocking news. So what do we have to talk about this week? This week, we have an interesting collection of items. One of which we were losing our minds about last week because we couldn't figure it out. Um, but we have a couple things, including uh, Pokemon Day. So that happened this past week. And that was pretty exciting. So if you missed Poke Pokemon Day, not Pokemon Day, uh, it was a pretty short event, a one-day event, where you could catch uh, Eevees or Pikachu. Was it two days? It was two days. Mm. Uh, event, a uh, little flower uh, tiara hat deal, uh, shiny Pidgeys and shiny Rattatas. Yep, wrong Smeargle. Smeargle! Well, welcome to the chat, Jason. Always good to have you in. And uh, there are a few other. Let's move this way. Go ahead. <laughs> there are a few, a few other uh, facts of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Day. I, because of scheduling, basically missed the entirety of the event, which was a bummer because I was really, really, really looking forward to a shiny Pidgey, and I got zero. I did get one Eevee with the flowers, and uh, that was a little. That was, you know, a slight upside, but it's a bummer that I missed it. Uh, hey there, Beer Jesus. Thanks for joining us in the <laughs> chat. Welcome to Pokemon Days. <laughs> I'm laughing because I said Beer Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I approve. <laughs> Did you get much use out of Pokemon Day? Um, I had a little bit of use with um, Pokemon Day couple days. I don't know why they named it that. Anyway, the Pokemon Day celebration. I only um, encountered a few Eevee and Pikachu. And I was happy about um, some of the Kanto Pokemon that we didn't see very often in other um, Kanto throwbacks. So um, I was kind of happy that we were able to find things like Squirtle being quite prevalent. Um, other Charmanders were everywhere, which is always a good starter Pokemon. And um, it also was just kind of nice and um, a happy event because I got to reminisce about me being five years old when Pokemon was released out in the wild. So um, that was exciting. And now I am also thinking about the first Pokemon movie, but um, I will leave you to go watch that if you haven't, but the end makes me really sad. But um, anyway... Now I'm just having a flood of Pokemon memories, including the Pikachu Santa hat paper that my mom wrapped our Christmas presents in for probably a solid 15 years because she had so much of it. So Pokemon has been around my life for a whole long time. Anyway. Uh, it looks like you're struggling with a Latias here. Yeah, I struggled with most of the Latias um, because, as you can see, Latias likes to move up and down. And side to side, so move it all around, up and down, move around town. Um, Latias likes to jump out of Pokeballs. So that's particularly problematic because I like to throw curveballs in the exact same spot every single time. So um, I had quite trouble catching these guys. I did end up with, I think, um, let's count because I can do that right here. I have my app open. I ended up with six Latias. So nice. um, I probably went to 10 raids. Uh, so six out of 10 um, is not too bad for uh, catching. I, you? I have not been to that many. Uh, I think I'm at about an 80% catch rate for these guys. I think I have okay. four out of six. Hmm. Um, but you've been to more of those raids than I have. But that has been atypical for my catch rates for these kind of events. Um, so it's nice to... I don't know, be Have back, my luck on, on catching the legendary Be guys. back in the favor of the random number generator gods. Yeah, so I apparently have found your not-so-lucky streak, and you have found my more lucky streak uh, for these special raid bosses. 
here I am trying to wait out the, the move, and it means then that I'm just spinning the Pokeball for all of eternity here. But So yeah, this, this raid boss is particularly energetic, uh, and it has lots of uh, defense moves, and it is hopping all over the screen. It's true, but it's also out of raids now, so... Uh, we're sorry if you missed that. That is no longer available. It was only available for a week from the 22nd of February to the 1st. Um, so now with that, we do have a new raid boss, which I'm sure I'm butchering its name, but uh, Dialga, 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 um, Dialga, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to say it wrong all the ways. Uh, so Dialga is in raid battles now, and you can get yourself one until the end of March. Um, so we have a couple weeks time in which you can take out your fighty boys and take out your ground type and fight the Dialga. Because Dialga is both uh, steel and dragon type. So um, if you have Machamp, that's going to be a real good fighty boy. If you have Hariyama, that's going to be a decent fighty boy. If you have Grudon, that's going to be a real good rock boy. Or, sorry, ground type boy. Um, if you have Breloom, that's <clears throat> going to be a good ground type. So, counters wise, you're going to want to have your fighty, fighty, flighty boys. Or gals, I'm not being sexist. Or your ground type Pokemon to uh, use against that guy. Now, I have not yet been to a Dialga raid, so I don't know how many people it takes to get the Dialga. Now, that being said, most of the bosses we've seen have been anywhere from two people to about eight people. So, it could be somewhere in that range, um, but I'm not quite sure. I do hope to get out to some in the next few days, um, but I haven't yet. So uh, the number of <clears throat> excuse me number of folks that require for those raids are you know level dependent. So if it takes you know five or six, we're generally talking level thirty four and above. Um, although if you've got you know twenty friends who are at least level twenty, you can probably hack it. So uh, one thing about the counters that's going to be uh, helpful in you figuring out which ones you really want to pick is taking a look at their move set one. Um, are they going to be super effective moves with either fighting or ground type? Or are they other types that are less effective, like normal type or fairy or, um, you know, God forbid, grass type? Um, those are not going to be as effective as your fighting and ground type, um, which will do a lot more damage because that Pokemon has a weakness to those type of things. Um, additionally, and this is one thing that you sort of have to wager when you're looking at your own counters, uh, is whether or not the Pokemon is powerful. Um, if it's going to have super effective moves, you can get away with having a less powerful Pokemon. Um, or if you have an extremely powerful Pokemon that's a tank, like Tyranitar, but it only has dark moves, or a Dragonite, um, that will be helpful as well. Um, Looks like you got photobombed there. I finally got photobombed! Sorry to take us away from the counter conversation, but I'm so excited I finally got a Smeargle. Uh, so, how many pictures did you take to get to that? I probably took about 400 pictures. Um, and about 250, <laughs> maybe 275 of those were on my iPhone storage. So I had to uh, go into my settings and turn that off so that the photos actually wouldn't store. Um, but as you can see here, I am finally catching that Smeargle boy with the painty tail. So if you miss what actually happened is she was taking photos of uh, a Dragonite. Uh -huh. And when in the review process, she could see that Smeargle had photobombed one of the photos. But that's not where it ends. You then have to go back to the general map. And then Smeargle should be somewhere very close nearby for you to catch kind of in the usual way. Mm -hmm. So um, you, it's not just uh, having that uh, snap photobomb. You actually then have to go catch the Pokemon. Yeah. I'm about 700 photos in, and I still haven't seen it. Really? Um, yeah. Dang. So I don't know if, if it's restricted by Pokemon, because I've been trying to 
uh, clone my legacy Mewtwo. Because mm -hmm. uh, whichever Pokemon you are taking a photo of, Smeargle copies that move set. So you kind of like don't want to use a Magikarp or a Pidgey or, a or you know, so something know. that's not gonna not going to be as useful. And I'm trying to milk the fact that I have a Legacy Shadow Ball Mewtwo, and I was using that, or I was using a Blast Burn Charizard. And so mm -hmm. I was bopping back between those two to try to make best use of that uh, copying skill set. And I don't know if that's if that's harming me. I don't know if you get a, have an increased chance for. So there have been many different theories. Some people on the vast interwebs have talked about uh, bouncing back and forth between shiny Pokemon and regular Pokemon. They've talked about bouncing back and forth between different Pokemon, just in general, taking photos of them. Uh, they've talked about being outside or inside or in great lighting or bad lighting, whatever the, the case may be. Um, honestly, I kind of don't think it really matters. I kind of think that it's just... Uh, random number generator gods have decided that you finally get a smear goal, uh, no matter what your photo is. Because I was literally just taking this photo out the window, and it show it showed up. Is it confirmed that the little thing on the bottom flashes three times? Some people have said that, but I didn't recognize that as happening with mine. So I don't know if that's accurate or not. It may just be people wanting to make something of nothing. Yeah. Um, but it is true that. Uh, in your photo as you are taking a look at them. Um, so that being said, once you get to the camera, I don't think it matters which way you get in it from either your items or your Pokemon. I tried both. Um, once you get into your camera, start snapping photos and the max it will take is about 10 that you can review. Um, with that, as you are finishing taking those photos, you do have to review those. So Smeargle will pop up in one of the bottom sections of your photo. And then uh, after that, you can see that I was flipping back and forth to make sure like it was really there. Um, so once you cancel out of the photo, then it will show, uh, show up on your map screen. Uh, it'll show up sort of like one of the glowing uh, glitch dots of the Pokemon before it actually spawns. Um, and then it'll pop up. So you do have to cancel out of those photos. Uh, so again, the app will only let you review 10 photos. So there's really no re good reason that I can think of to take more than 10 at a time because uh, you won't be able to review more than that. Mm -hmm. I've found that I can get about three of those 10 photo cycles before my app crashes. Mm -hmm. And that has been the case from launch of the Pokemon wow. Snap feature. So I don't know if that's something idiosyncratic with my phone, my app install, or the update. Um, but that has been pretty frustrating, which is probably why I've only done about 700 photos thus far. Only? Because <laughs> I can only get about 30 in before the app crashes. Hmm. And usually then I, you know, curse and, and quit for like an hour or two. I've not had that experience. That's been me. Hmm. So, um, back to our conversation about counters. As you can see here, as I'm talking with chocolate in my mouth, sorry about that. Mm -mm. One thing is that you can see here, I am using a Tyranitar, which um, its primary attack was super effective, but its charge move was not so effective. However, going back to this raid boss idea, um, Tyranitar is a pretty beefy Pokemon. You can get a few hits and um, still maintain and still do mm. some damage output. So... With that, um, it is beneficial for you to choose tanky Pokemon um, with good moves, but if you can't choose the good moves, then go with tanky Pokemon. Or, if you choose Pokemon with good moves, um, they don't necessarily have to be as tanky, since your, hopefully, friends will help you along in that. Um, so, it should uh, just depend a little bit on how you want to approach that. Obviously, don't put in your Pidgey Patrol, because that's not going to be helpful, and you're not going to do a whole bunch of damage. So, uh, let's see. Uh, sorry. Keep... You good? I'm, I'm doing a thing. Okay. Um, so, I am taking a look at another of my Latias battle from the week. Uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of trying to finish up all of those and get extra. 
So then just in case um, any of my friends didn't get one, I could pass one along, or in case there were uh, any shinies to be had, right? Because uh, we do have the opportunity to get shiny Latias, which looks like a nice yellow Pokemon and um, has sh sort of a shiny gold uh, feel to it. So it is pretty exciting to uh, see one of those. And one of our friends did get one last week, so I was hoping to really get a shiny uh, Pokemon this week, but I did not find a shiny Latias. Um, but that being said, again, this Latias is out of raid battles. However, there is going to be another um, weekend or possibly raid week for Latios if you still have not gotten that, which I don't believe that Kevin or I, uh, either of us, has Latios yet. So um, I'm pretty excited to uh, get Latios and add it to my Pokedex since I'm almost finished with my entire Pokedex. So awesome. um, I'm waiting on Latios and Rayquaza to show back up because Rayquaza was another one that I missed um, because I was just out of raid battles at the time. I wasn't playing at the time that those were common, so I'm also looking forward to them coming in just so that I can get them. Uh, I'm not nearly as close to completing as you. I think the only region I've completed is Kanto. So. Oh, wow. So I am, let's see, if I'm looking at my Pokedex total, um, I have caught 450 of the 488. So 450 out of 488 Pokemon. I'm missing uh, just about 38 Pokemon, which um, some of the, most of those rather are regional. Some of them are raid bosses. Um, some of them are things like unknown <clears throat> that um, you have to basically have a freakish accident to see um, or find somebody to trade. Yeah, I've caught 418, seen 439. I have 151 of Kanto, 96 of Johto, 119 of Hen, or Hun, Hun, Hun. Uh, and 50 of Sinnoh. Nice. I have caught 450, and I've seen 458 mm. of those. So um, You're quite a bit further along than I am. I'm, I'm quite far in, in the Pokemon game there. Um, so how was your first week as a level 40 badass? Um, my first week as a level 40 Pokemon trainer was pretty average. I'll say it was a rather calm week. Uh, both of our schedules, we had a lot of stuff going on, so um, really neither one of us got to play as much as I would have liked to. Um, but that being said, I was able to encounter a few uh, shiny Pokemon, and I was able to encounter... Um, several different things and it did kind of feel nice to sit in the lobby and say i'm level 40 but um <laughs> other than that it was pretty average i'll say um yeah now i actually kind of had a little bit of existential angst like what do i do now that the uh experience points grind is out of the way like what do i do uh do i just catch things for fun now what is that a thing and then I was like, oh, right, that's the whole point of the game. Also, finding shiny Pokemon. So, um, I'm still on that task. Uh, I am not quite near level 40 yet. I'm still level 36. I've been level 36 for months. I will be level 36 for months more. Level 36 is my life. So. Yeah, get used to it. That's where I'm at. It's going to be a while. I'm just throwing that out there. <clears throat> um so you had a uh, new Pokemon for you, a Lickitung Evolution. Uh, we saw it earlier, but we were oh. I was occupied. Yeah, so um, I decided to use my extra Sinnoh Stones that were left over from uh, Community Day to get a few more Pokedex entries out of the way, such as my... Um, now I, I just lost it. Uh, Rosalia's Evolution. Mm. Um with the shiny bud. Um, what is her name? I don't know. Ah! Sorry, my brain has gone. I evolved all the way from a budu because I felt that that was necessary. Um, Rosa Raid. That's it. My brain has just entirely wiped. So, uh, I used a few Sinnoh Stones to evolve all the way through to a Rosa Raid and complete that entry. And also from a Lickitung to a Licky Licky, which they could not have 
named that more horribly. So um, I got both of those out of the way. Uh, Roserade is a little bit effective for grass type counters in your um, in your rating, but Licky Licky is not helpful really at all. It's kind of just a Pokedex entry. Uh, but I did want to get it out of the way, so I went ahead and did that this week. Um, other things, I'm still missing a few things. I kind of want to wait and see if there's a possibility that I might find a shiny Murkrow for a shiny Honchkrow. I'm still holding out on that one, but for the most part, I have evolved many of the Gen 4 Pokemon that have new evolutions. Awesome. Yeah. I'm here on my seven-day research task, and oh look, it's another legendary bird. Another Articuno! The most uh, legendary birds I've had has been Zapdos, so it's nice to have a, a slight change of pace for an Articuno. Although I have like a, a whole flock of these, including a, a shiny from, community, from the legendary birds day. Yep. So I'm just super over this period. But, good news, they're out, right? Are they? Yeah. Who's in there now? We have our Reggies, right? Uh, we have the chance for any one of the three uh, Reggies. I always want to say Regis, and because, you know, Registeel, Regis. Um, but uh, the Reggies are now a possibility for your seven day research encounter. Uh, so you can fill out Regis if you have not, or Registeel, or Regirock which I only got one of each of those, so I am kind of happy about that. I um, only have Regirock, so the opportunity to get Reg Ice and Registeel, I'm excited about that. Yeah, uh, I can't recall, because I haven't cashed in my seven-day streak yet, um, I can't recall if the birds or dogs are available in this one. Um, if you know in the, uh, let us know in the comments if you are familiar with that. Um, it's been a hot minute, we've been out of town, so... Um, I can't recall if the birds and dogs are a Pokemon of chance that will show up, but definitely uh, the Reggies are going to be available. So here I was evolving a Meowth for a research task uh, so that I have a chance to catch what turned out to be a flower-laden Eevee. Look at it! It's so cute! So this was the only catch I had from Pokemon Day, and uh, we were traveling this past week. We were gone for four days, so... Uh, normal Pokemon Go time was pretty radically reduced, but um, I was glad to at least snatch this one up. Mm. But I didn't get any shiny Pidgeys. So if you're out there, and you're in Morgantown, or nearby, and you have a shiny Pidgey that you'd like to trade, I would like to trade you something for that shiny Pidgey. So, shiny Pidgeys sent to me. So that was part of the Poke Day, Pokemon Day event. Yeah. Shiny Pidgey. It was Shiny Pidgey Day with a few other things that nobody cared about. Listen, it's not Shiny Pidgey Day, Kevin. Hashtag Pidgey. Also, I have like eight Pidgeys die. that I'm waiting to trade you, but um, this guy gets tired of trading Pidgeys. So I'm just saying, is he really committed to this Pidgey Patrol? I don't know. Have you seen the Pidgey Patrol? Um, no, because I don't really care. But I'm just saying, I currently have, and I'm going to look it up. So this is the current uh, Pidgey Patrol. Let's see, I don't know if we can see this. No, there you are. To, like, not tilt it. You... Well, it doesn't focus then. So I have uh, four out of six are lucky. They are all above 80% IV. Uh, the goal would be to have 600% IV Pidgeys, but I haven't even seen a single one, so I don't know if it's going to happen. So as soon as all six of these are somewhat interesting, uh, I'm going to spend a ridiculous amount of Pidgey candy and Stardust and power them up, and then they will maybe be able to last two seconds against anything. No, not even two and seconds. And maybe at that point the Pidgey Patrol bit will be dead. We'll see. I hope so. I also have 14 Pidgeys currently in my box waiting for you to trade me. Mm. So, 14 Pidgeys. Is he even really committed to getting these Pidgeys? I'm just asking for the good of the group. Um, anyway, Shiny Pidgey was a possibility, which didn't really look that much different than the regular. However, however, Shiny Pidgey and Shiny Rattata, as others call Rattata, um... Are, were only available in those odds for like two days. So they are quite rare in terms of the shinies that are available. Now that being said, they go back to the normal one out of 450 encounter type um, after the event. But that being said, there are only two days for those. So uh, those two Pokemon are quite rare. 
I did like the um, the regular Kanto Radita uh, shiny mm. Pokemon. I thought it was kind of cool. The Alolan one was like a magenta color, and it looked super cool too. Yeah. Anyway, that was a, a neat one. I am still looking for a shiny shelter here um, with no luck. So if you have a shiny shelter, I would love to be your friend and trade it for something. Well, this is me checking every shelter I come across because I know you want a shiny one. Thanks. So you're I'm welcome. glad you check it. I so checked these too. I am still stuck on the research task for Meltan for Catch to the Leaps. I've hatched like four in that period, but hatching a little leap does not queue up the Catch a Little Leap or Anorith uh, research task bit. Have you tried trading one? I haven't. Okay. Because I'm not sure. I know that it does not... Well, I don't know that. I know that trading supposedly works for uh, your Magikarp and your... Um, Let's do it. Rattata badges, but I don't know if it works for the trading. Let's do it. Let's see. Okay. Um, what am I trading you again? Lily. Lily. Okay. Friends, LPG Kevin wants to trade with you. I'm trying to get out of the gift sequence. We do it on trade. It's our thing now. What do you want? I want... Um... Clam Pearl. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need those. Um, fine, then just pick something. I've never told you no for a Pokemon trade. That's crazy. That's true. That, just, that felt a little weird, actually. Just pick something, Kevin. It's okay. not that big a deal. <laughs> okay. Still waiting. Okay. Oh, my God. Really? He traded a Lilip for a Lilip. Don't judge me. I'm judging. I'm fully judging. <laughs> I hope you all are judging him too, because I am. Let's see if this works for your research. Your special research does not seem to be doing the job. Yeah, I don't think I care. So, now that we know... Nope. Uh, so the special field research... or Sorry, the special research does not care if you trade... A Lilip or Kabuto or whatever, those do not count. It does have to be a catch. Um, so I would encourage you, if you are looking for those things, to check out your uh, local nest map to see if you can find those things. Um, that is a good way to catch those. So it looks like you have a new Pokemon here. Is that true? I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. You'll have to wait and see because I'm pretty sure you already caught it. Oh, yeah. I caught a Perugly while we were in Columbus this weekend. Hey! It was uh, hanging out inside a taco joint while I was waiting outside to get a milkshake. Hey! And you got a Mantai! And I hatched a Mantai, but I didn't realize until it was, like, halfway done, so I just, like, snatched this re recording afterwards. You just half-snatched that recording. But that little bit uh, of there was us in Columbus, where we went and attended the Arnold Classic this past weekend. and watched, The Arnold Sports Festival. Yeah. Watched uh, Strong Peeps do strong things, and it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And there were lots of Pokestops, so I there hit a lot of Pokestops, those stops. But we didn't do as much recording, although we did do some playing. That's true. Um, other things that we have not mentioned. Um, remember that your um, community day for March is coming up at the end of the month mm -hmm. on Saturday or whichever day for you, uh, March the 23rd. Um, so that for us will be Trico. You will have four times the incubator effectiveness. But my guess is that's only for Pokemon that are entered in during the event. I have had very bad luck with that in the past. Having just put Pokemon in eggs, or in incubators, sorry. Uh, just putting eggs in incubators before the event, that does not help. It has to be during the event. And if I don't pull a me unless you just forget to use incubators entirely through most of the event. Also, that. Uh, yeah. So if you can get if you can get rid of the eggs that are currently hatching prior to the event, have nine ready to go, and then you will be able to make the best use of that once the event starts. Pop all of those in their incubators and cook them and send them on their way. On the twenty third. Um, other things, continue to take your Smeargle photos if you don't, or sorry, continue to take your Pokemon Go photos if you don't have a Smeargle yet. Um, one thing that I would suggest, 
Um, if you have iOS, you can go into your settings and turn off the permissions for saving those pictures. That will save you a lot of time deleting the over 9,000 photos that you will take to get this miracle. Um, I learned that after about 300 in, so that's helpful. I have noticed a thing. I have the Android upgraded app for AR+. Plus. And I have found that it is having a difficult time. So if you're using iOS, it just throws the Pokemon out there in the center of your screen and you can move it around however you'd like. No matter whether they're floating in the sky or on a book or on the ground. If you're using Android and you're using the augmented reality function, you have to toss it onto a flat surface. So the thing that gives you the little golden sparkle feet, which is where you can toss a Pokeball, you can tell like what the AR Plus is doing, how it's viewing the environment. You get sparkles when it sees objects and obstructions. And you get little golden feet, uh, feet prints when you have suitable flat areas. The thing that I have found the most useful is to get on the scene that I want, lift it up so it's from a downward angle, and then pan the phone to the left so that there's kind of a, a shift occurs. And that is the thing that, in my experience, clues the AR Plus that it's a flat surface the best. The trouble I found is if it's a relatively uniform color, like a solid color of carpet or snow, that the AR Plus, if you have the beta release version from Google, for the, for the new expanded version is not looking at those solid colors very well. Um, so I've been even having a hard time finding a spot. So earlier today when I took about 100 photos, I couldn't even get it to see the carpet in my living room, which is blue. But when I lifted it up, it would see the flat area of the brown table that was nearby, and I could throw a Pokemon onto the table. So that's been a little bit frustrating. If uh, So you may choose the area in which you take these photos with a little bit of caution if you're using uh, the updated AR Plus for Android. That being said, I think the Android photos do turn out cooler than the iPhone photos because it's just a static Pokemon in yeah. iPhone. You um, can get different angles. You can, you know, uh, yeah, you can do that's some not artsy shots. Uh, you can zoom in, so it's basically just like a headshot. Um, it will blur out and tell you you're too close if you get too close, but you can fidget with it and, and get some cool shots. That being said, continue to take your photos, and I hope that the random number generator gods are in your favor. Um, be sure to get your fighting and ground type Pokemon out for um, your raid party for the Dialga raids uh, all throughout March, and continue to shiny hunt. I just found, which you will see next week, a shiny Pokemon that I'm not going to release just yet. But I did find another shiny, um, actually today, so that'll be on footage Ooh. for next week. So, continue the hunt, and I hope to uh, show you some new footage next week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're Let's Play Games West Virginia. We're a group of West Virginia gamers that have something going on every night of the week. Our ticker tape at the bottom may be slightly out of date for titles, but is generally correct for themes for the days. So uh, check that out, and we'll see you later on in the week. And, of course, we will see you guys again on next Monday for Poke Monday. I want to thank everyone in the chat, uh, especially those of you who have returned from previous episodes. We always like having you hang out in the chat, and it's nice to see familiar faces and names. And we thank you for your patience in regard to the uh, band combo. Yeah, so we had a little bit of disruption in the chat, which required some, some banning and some quick moderation. Uh, so apologies for that. Be decent, people. Thanks. Yeah. And we will see you guys later. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.